So tonight we've got exciting plans to go to a special event. Do you know what event we're going to? I don't remember what it's called. Okay. I know there's wine and food. There is wine and food. So it is at Portofino Bay over by Universal. It's one of their on-property hotels that we could not get um, reservations there to stay tonight. So we're over at the Quality Inn across the street, but we're gonna Uber there. Um, it is called Harbor Nights La Dolce Vida. It's very fancy. It's out on their promenade. It's all Italian themed. All of the restaurants um, that are there are participating where they have stations set up with um, little tasting tapas style food. Um, it's unlimited food, unlimited wine. We chose to get um, a little table just for the two of us. There's three different categories you can do. You can get the um, standing room only, which um, has little tables, but you have to stand. Um, then you can get the seated um, tables. Otherwise, there's one more where you can get a whole table for a big group, but it's just the two of us. So we just we just got seated table and yeah, we're excited. We went last year. Yeah. It usually happens a few times in the winter. Um, you just kind of got to keep your eyes open for it because the dates kind of switch around. So, but our Uber will get here in five minutes. So, yay! <laughs> So we're getting ready to check in. Um, we made it through the hotel and now we're just waiting, waiting at our name thing. So we'll see what happens. It's a little bit different than last time we came. Yeah, so. last time we just went down the stairs. Yeah. The weather is beautiful though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's great. The outside of this hotel is one of the most gorgeous. Excited to try some of the foods, drink the wines. We're not big wine drinkers, but you know, nights like this we have to be. So you got it. You got to drink your wines. Try not to trip on my dress down the stairs. Try not to break my ankle. Yeah, try not to break my ankle, which I did one time at at this resort. The only time we stayed here. Time we came to this was um, Thanksgiving weekend. So they had the Christmas lights, the big Christmas tree. It was gorgeous. So I'm excited to try it now and see, see if it's still this pretty. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna make our way to our seats now. Okay, so we got our first course, which is an appetizer. This is exclusive to, um, oh, something exciting happened. Um, this is exclusive if you get a table. You're not gonna get that if you get the standing room only um, or the free champagne. So something to keep in mind. Plus you can sit, it's great. Um, it's a nice little anti-pasto. Looks pretty, yeah. very pretty. Um, our, wait, our waiter, they do have waiters that come around, even though you do go and get your own food, but they will bring you, like, they brought us the plate. Um, she said that she would bring dessert later. We get a, a little wet towel. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to dig in. Are you, Dustin? Yeah. Sounds good. I'm not exactly sure how to go about it, so. Let's go get a wine first. She'll get a wine first? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna go get wine first. Okay, so we were able to get our first glass of wine here. Um, I made up myself a little appetizer plate of all the goodies on on the antipasto. Dustin's taking a bite. Was it good so far? Yeah. Very good. yeah. Got a little puff pastry of stuff there. Um, some nice cheeses, meats. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig in and give give this one a try and we'll see. Good live music too. Very good, yeah. Really nice band out there. It's just it's just gorgeous here. And as it gets darker it just gets more and more gorgeous. 
I'm going to take some time and I'm going to eat now. We're going to go get another glass of wine and hopefully catch some of the band here. Get a little bit closer. So here's our food stations. Here's the wine line. Of course, the wine line's always longer. Excuse me. So they just set up the food just like this. And you can see which restaurant you're going to be at. So this one's Mama Della's. Got a couple of plates out. You just grab them and go. But we're in the mood for wine, so we're going to do that first. I have a peanut on the wine. Want to get that peanut on the wine? Sure. There's Splendido's Bar and Grill, another one. We've never eaten there, but we've had the food from here during this. It's, it's really good. And there's beach a up there if you want to eat at the restaurant, which is always really good as well. We went there for Valentine's Day. I don't recommend going on Valentine's Day. There's just, it's a limited menu. Go during a regular time. Get the real menu. Okay, so our first food stop was at Mama Della's. Um, it is at the Imperio Reganata. I'm sure I just butchered that. Pretty much it's it's skillet shrimp. There's some Italian breadcrumbs, some tomato ragu. So I'm excited to, to dig in. Exciting. Yeah, you gonna give it a try? There is a tail, so don't eat it. There is a tail, okay, thank you. Because I probably would have. That's good. That's good. Um, got a lot of flavor. Shrimp might be a little bit undercooked for me, but but it's it's good. No, it's definitely a restaurant that I would like to try sometime. I've heard really good things about it. A nice Italian family restaurant. So yeah, yeah, I'd give it a try. What do you think? I agree with you about the shrimp. A little undercooked, yeah. They're cooking for a lot of people, so. Right. So, well, we'll finish this one and we'll try another one. So we're going to keep going. We got our first dish. Woo! So now we're going to go on and go to the third wine station we haven't tried yet. Um, these wine stations are exclusive to the VIP tables. You get three exclusive wine um, areas as well as you get your own exclusive place to get food. They have other places for the people that are standing out and about in there um but these ones are dedicated for for people that are at the table so we'll come up the um wine lines are always longer than the food lines although that food line's getting there that one's going to be the splendido bar and grill um there's one i can't remember which one that has a polenta bar i'm excited to try that I have to look into which one that is, but yeah. And duck meatballs. Oh my gosh, I love duck. Yeah, I'm an Iowa farm girl. We like we like our, you know, to pet our ducks and then to eat our ducks. <laughs> I the weather is perfect tonight. I think it's supposed to get down to low 60s, but right now it's low 70s, no humidity, no rain, skies are clear, it is gorgeous. So hopefully it'll stay this way as we have another big plans for tomorrow night, which we'll make another video on. So.
Let's see, what do they have here? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let you go so I can look at my wines here. Okay, we found the polenta part. This is gonna be a Trattoria del Porto. I think I said that right. But, ooh, I'm excited for this one. It sounds really good, so. There they are making, putting it all together. It's a little bit of a line, not too bad. It must be good because yeah, there's none on, like, there just to grab. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I think this is the one that has the duck meatballs too, so we'll see which one we get. Quick interruption as I sat at the wrong table. I got really excited, so. <laughs> as Justin said, look for the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the wine is one of the most exclusive wines that you can get. It's only grown on 10 acres. Um, it is really good for wine. I, like I said, I'm, I'm more of a whiskey girl, but, you know, right. wine's good, too. So. It's but, good. Yeah. How, how's the food? Did you try it? Uh, I haven't gotten a bite of anything but the, like, polenta. The so. polenta? Yeah. It's kind of like grits. Yep. Yeah. The sauce is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good? That's better than the last one. Better than the last one? Yeah. It's, it smells so good. I'm excited to try it. So. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a try here. It looks really good. Um, try some of this polenta first. Mm. That is really tasty. That has so much flavor. And the duck meatballs, the mushrooms, that's really what, what gets it. But yeah. Okay, so we got our third portion of the night. This was from Sal's Market Deli. Um, this is a chicken cacciatore. Um, we also got wines. We got the same thing that we got a couple times. He got the um, Chianti. I got the Chardonnay. They're both excellent for, smells really for wines. Good. Yeah. Do you want to give it a try and see what it... Sure. It does smell really good. Yeah, it does. It looks like some couscous in there. Is it good? The, compared to the duck meatballs of polenta? No. Number two so far. Yeah. That was so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into this um couscous. It's kinda like a couscous salad. It's it's cold. Yeah. I didn't expect that, but the chicken appears to be warm, so, so yeah. Pretty good, pretty decent. Yeah. Um I'd say Trattoria del Porto, though. That, that was the best so far, but we still have two more food stations, so the night is young. So we got another glass of wine. We're kind of making the rounds now. We're outside where the standing area is. Um, so I'll put the prices on here of what, what different areas cost. The standing areas are awesome. You're really close to the band. Um, you're close to the water, which is beautiful. The major downside is that you don't have seats, but that's okay. It's absolutely stunning. We just need to come out here and now it's a lot louder. Exactly. That's that's one thing from our seats. We couldn't really hear the we could hear the opera singers, but not as well as, as what you can hear. The the speakers are definitely pointed out this way. Oh there's oh. there's the dessert area. Oh my goodness. Sweet corner. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to spend some time here. Diet be damned. <laughs> oh, and then the gelato from the gelateria. 
Yep. We always wanted to try that when we stayed here, and we never did. Yeah. 